new research from UC Davis is providing some perspective into the question, do we know what we want in a romantic partner? It depends on the day, right? <laughs> That's kind of the easy answer. Well, a lot of people might immediately say yes, and you may even have a list of the qualities that you search for. But this study out of UC Davis shows that list may not include the only things you want. In the study, 700 people told researchers the top three things they want in an ideal partner. For instance, adventurous, attractive, and intelligent. Researchers say people look for those qualities in their social group as they try to find potential partners. Researchers also had the participants judge their friends or romantic partners on three attributes that were thought of by a complete stranger, like thoughtful, warm, and reflective. And the results surprised the researchers. It turns out that you also like your friends and dating partners, etc., to the extent that they have those three attributes. And those three attributes matter just as much for predicting your romantic interest as the three things that you personally came up with. Okay, so note to self, more than three things then. All right. Just ask your mom, <laughs> just ask your mom to figure it so out. Another thing that surprised the researchers was that when participants were asked to name specific things they do want in a partner, they want a partner to do, for instance, ask me about my day when I get home and uh, a partner that doesn't, sit, doesn't side with their parents on things. Researchers found that people like when their partner do the, does the things that they listed, but they also like when they do the same things a complete stranger listed. And this prompted uh, the researcher Paul Eastwick to think about what we may be open to more qualities than we think. What you order off a menu, right? I mean, uh, you know, most restaurants, you go in, you, each person gets a menu you order for yourself, right? Here's a list of things, sort of what are the things that you think are going to appeal to you. But to draw that analogy out, what we effectively found here is that you can imagine sitting at a table, everybody orders the menu, the waiter or the, you know, the wait staff totally messes it up, brings the wrong dish to the wrong person, everybody was just as happy as if they had actually gotten what they ordered. People seem to be more open to different kinds of attributes than they realize. And that's maybe a lesson for dating too, which is like, don't rule somebody out just because of what they look like on paper. Okay, so the researchers hope to uh, expand this type of research worldwide to see how more cultures react and to see if there are any differences in the way we find a romantic partner.